Hello and welcome to my screencast. Are you a writer, a blogger, a student? Do you write? If you do any writing, then welcome to Grammarly. Grammarly will be your best friend. Now, Grammarly is this application here, and this is my iMac application. So let's get into Grammarly and find out what's going on. Right, so first of all, what you can do is you can import a document. Okay, these are all of the documents that I have worked with before and I've actually corrected the grammar. Um, I'm on the, I'm not on the premium version. Uh, if I was to be on the premium version, then I would get to do a lot more than I'm doing now, but I'll just let you know what I'm doing now. Okay. So first of all, okay, you've got a simple user interface. All you need to do is either create a new document, in which case you start typing in or you copy and paste from another application, or you can import Okay, so if you click on import, then it's going to take you uh, to your hard drive, and then you can choose a document. Preferably, you want to choose a document which you are able, which is like a Word document. Okay, so we are not going to get anything from there. I actually want to get a document from another application. Okay, so I'm going to click new. And then it says here, type in your title. So I could say, uh, welcome to Grammarly as the title. Okay, welcome to Grammarly. Then in here, I can either type, I can either type, or I can copy and paste. So I'm going to copy and paste. I've already got another application here called Ulysses, which I'm going to talk about in another video. But for now, I'm just going to get a document from that. So Ulysses is actually another writing app, okay? But it doesn't do the correction that Grammarly can do, okay? Wouldn't it be nice if there was an application which could do both? And I think Grammarly is actually doing both. But this, the user interface is just clean and it's... It's very good for writing, okay? So I've got ebook two, and the title is Africans need to start asking the right questions. So I'm just going to copy, select all of that, copy it, and then I'm gonna go back to Grammarly, and I'm going to paste it here, Control V. So there's my book. If you check at the bottom here, it's checking. It's got five critical issues so far and 25 advanced issues. Now it's got 22, now 28. So that's 28 critical issues and 99 advanced issues. Now, to be able to fix the advanced issues, I would have to upgrade, okay? So I will be upgrading in the near future, but for now, I'm okay with just sorting out the critical issues. So here is the first correction. Before there was paper money and GDP, there was land and people. So instead of saying before there was, it should be before they were. And you can see that it is underlined in red. There was, it has shown that the was should be corrected to were. So all I need to do is click on that and it's corrected. And that's gone. I can undo the correction and it's back. And I can correct it again and do the correction. Let's see what this uh, expand card does. So if I click on this down arrow, it actually expands to show me. And it says exactly what the problem is. It appears that the singular verb was does not agree with the plural compound subject, paper money and GDP. So I've written paper money and GDP. And I've said were, was instead of were because it's now plural, okay? So in this inverted sentence, consider changing the verb to the plural form, okay? So you can actually ignore 
if you think you're right and Grammarly is wrong, it can be wrong sometimes. It depends. Uh, sometimes it, it might try to correct uh, a word that you've used, uh, but you've used it because it comes from another language. It might try to correct it. It might think that you meant this word in English and it might be completely wrong. So in that case, you can ignore, okay? You can also ignore from this cross over here, okay? And if you click on more, it gives you even more. In an inverted sentence, the subject follows the verb. A compound subject includes two or more nouns or pronouns, noun clauses or noun phrases, and maybe singular or plural. When the nouns are joined with the word and an apple and a banana, the compound subject is usually plural, even if the individual nouns are singular. A plural subject, plural subject requires a plural verb. On occasion, a compound subject uses two nouns to describe one singular subject, spaghetti and meatballs. Incorrect to say, is Jack and Jill going to get more water? Correct to say, are Jack and Jill going to get more water? It is incorrect to say, there is books and newspapers available. Correct to say, there are books and newspapers available. Incorrect to say, across the bed is a bookshelf and a rocking chair. Correct to say, across from the bed are a bookshelf and a rocking chair. Okay, so that mistake has been corrected like so. That's corrected. Okay, so I'm not going to go through um, the long lecture I've just had with the first one. I'm just going to correct this. So now I've got 27 left. Correct that. Um, that comma shouldn't be there. Okay, so if I click, it's going to remove that comma like so. Okay, uh, this should be it. Um, or if it are still in foreign hands instead of is in foreign hands, or do that. Asian should be a capital A. Long term is there should be a hyphen in between. Um, borders, they should not be, let's see, conf confused word, let's see. The internet has obliterated borders. I think that one is correct, let's see. Did you mean borders? Yeah, yeah, should be that. Okay, my bad. Uh, the land, land is still very important. And I, I know a lot of people make this mistake. So instead of saying the land is still very important, I said land is still very important. It should be the land, okay? It should be the land. And then I've got soil, no comma, poor diets, and a poor diet, and poor diets, okay? Uh, 19th century challenges. Uh, let's see, 19 to 18 to go. We're gonna try and be quick now. We don't need to read everything, okay? We don't need to read everything, but obviously if you're, uh, if you're doing an important document, you wanna check because sometimes they might make a slight mistake. But here we go. Time. I repeated time twice, so it's kind of, it's gonna remove one of them. No comma after that. Right. Madodabin, you see. Uh click to remove the corner. The Madodabin. Click to to expand the card. Our dictionary does not include the word Madodabin. Right. You can edit your dictionary. Now that's important. So Madodabini um, were the people that were employed to collect refuse, so refuse collectors, but we used to call them Madodabini. That's, it's like um, the individualized version of refuse collectors. Because you see, growing up, okay, our culture, we did not have refuse collectors. So we found a name, Madoda means man, bin means a bin, so Madoda bin 
means those the men who deal with beans or refuse collectors. So that's where the word madrada bean comes from. Now, here's what we can do, okay? Because it's not in their dictionary, I can now add it to this dictionary. So if I click add to dictionary, it means now it is added and will not appear as an error or mistake, okay? It is now recognized as part. It's, it's much like what you do with your iPhone, you know, when when you type in, uh, say, a Shona name or a Shona word or a developer word, uh, the next time it actually auto suggests that word because it's now in your dictionary. Okay, so the more you use it, the more uh, words. But with this one, you physically have to add it to the dictionary. Then from then on, it is recognized. There is a missing comma there. Yes, we are free. But are these the standards we are willing to accept for ourselves? This was a quite good one. How many are left? It's checking. Seven critical left. Okay. So let's do that quickly. Let's not waste any more time. There's two here. Such as a store of value and medium of exchange. No, we should dig deeper. Okay. What was I talking about? money i think why should another country print money why should another country print money to give to another country why can a country print its own money <clears throat> what is money anyway should we just be content with textbook definitions such as a store of value and medium of exchange no we should dig deeper okay so that's all part of this book that i'm writing uh, You've seen it first on this, and this is an ebook. I'm going to self publish it on Amazon, uh, on KDB, uh, Kindle, something publishing. Okay, KDP, I know it's KDP. Um, what is that? Possibly written word, neighborhood. Okay, that should be neighborhood, that should be one word. Okay, I'd miss that one out. And then can they, they can print money, they can print that out of thin air, can they print that out of, oh. instead of giving a country with a $5 billion budget, say a billion dollars, why not give it 20 billion? Can they print that out of, can they not, I'm going to put not, can they not print that out of thin air? And then I remove that, so that's been corrected. Much needed, that should be a hyphen. And that's it. If I click on the advanced issues, it's going to ask me to wait for it. We found 99 additional issues in this text. Okay, and then it says select a monthly plan, quarterly plan, an annual plan, eleven pounds, eleven dollars sixty six per month. You know, I'd rather just pay. Oh, but it's paid as one, a hundred and thirty nine. That's going to be about maybe a hundred pounds or something like that. Okay, so I'll definitely get one of these. So I'm going to return to my account, uh, and there we are. So my text is ready. Okay, it's been corrected. I wish they just had one button that says correct everything, you know. But anyway, so that is Grammarly. And if I go back to my home page, there it is. Uh, type, welcome to Grammarly. Type, uh, ebook to African need to start asking the right questions, blah, blah, blah. Then I can download it here. I wanted to download it there and put it onto my uh, hard drive. I can delete it there, okay? And I think there's one more thing. It was here, oh, okay, that's fine. That's done. Okay, so that's uh, Grammarly. I think it's quite a useful tool. And the other thing that it can do 
once you've installed it on your PC or your or your iMac or your laptop, okay, what it then does is it's integrated within other writing uh, place, other places where you do your writing. For example, what if you're on Facebook, okay, and you're you're typing in a post, then it 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 is activated and it also corrects uh, your grammar while you're doing that. If you are a blogger and you use, uh, wait for it, and you use WordPress, okay, it's also integrated within WordPress, but the WordPress on the web, when you're logged in on the web, not the application, okay, not the desktop application, but the actual uh, web version of WordPress, okay, Grammarly would be integrated within so you can correct your blog post whilst you're uh, typing it in. Okay, so I think that's the, that's the last point I wanted to point out. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll pick again on any of these wonderful applications that I have. I think the next one I will do is Ulysses. You probably recognize ScreenFlow. I've done a video on ScreenFlow. I've done a video on Wirecast. Um, yet to, I've done something on explain everything. Uh, the writing application, the uh, application that helps you to explain, but it's on iPad and iPhone. I want to talk about OmniFocus, OmniGrapho, and Bear. Okay. A lot of people are familiar with these. Oh, there's another important one. One password, okay? One password helps you to have one strong password and then the computer can, and then the application can generate up to 50 character passwords for your account. So that makes it um, easier for you to, re you don't need to remember all of the pa different passwords for your different accounts. Okay, then there's Vandalist, very good. Slack, I've talked about. Sketch, I've talked about. Um, Wirecast, I've talked about. I'm going to talk about a very strong competitor to WhatsApp, which is Telegram. I like it very, very much. Then Evernote, I've talked about. Google Drive, I think a lot of you don't realize that you've got a lot of storage or storage space in Google Drive and you can do a lot. You can do spreadsheets, you can do, uh, you can write notes, you can make presentations. Okay. All on the Google uh, platform and it's free for, I think, up to five gigabytes or something like that. I think it's more. I think it's 15. Okay. Then. Um, I've talked about iBooks. I'm going to talk about iMovie and GarageBand. Okay. Because I think like for me, it's high time I started doing, uh, my podcasts using GarageBand. Okay. I need to start getting serious with my podcasts. Keep talking about them. Right. Then I've talked about Sketchbook and Pocket is quite good. You can use Pocket and Evernote and be a star investigator okay if you are into research okay uh, pocket is absolutely essential okay you can save all of your stuff in pocket and this is what i like about pocket pocket on iphone and ipad is that instead of reading because a lot of us don't have the time to read anymore we mostly do we mostly just listen okay audiobook podcasts YouTube were listening all the time and Pocket actually lets the software read out to you instead of you reading out uh, or, or reading because your hands are tied up or your hands are busy. Okay, supposing you're driving and you want to listen to your uh, website uh, entries that you've saved in Pocket, then you can use you can use Pocket. You can actually listen to the stories instead of reading them. Okay? So that's it for now. That's it for now. Grammarly is the application I was talking about. Grammarly is the application I recommend 
if you want to correct your uh, grammar when you're doing some writing, look at all that. I should finish this ebook as soon as possible. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. Name is Derek Tafuma of DerekTafuma.com.